Hello everyone and welcome back to Farm Simulator 22. We're back here on No Man's Land with Grover Games. So, we're in the month of May, it's about quarter to eleven already, and the reason that is because it ended up raining this morning, so we are, we're kind of waiting the rain out. Uh, right now we're taking our first load of planks in, because I wanted to get enough money so we can get our new tractor bought. And this should get us enough, at least we should get most of the stuff we want on it. I don't th I think we're going to skip out on the GPS stuff for now. It is going to be our, like I talked in the previous episodes, it's going to be our more closer to modern tractor just because we're going to be hooking, since we got precision active now, we're going to be hooking up the, all of the precision sensor on it. And it's going to be our nitrogen application tractor and a few other things. And we were going to go with the 7000 premium series with the 150 horse on it, so that way we, ha we have a tractor with a good amount of horsepower on it. There we go. We're gonna go with the... Uh, oh, where is it? All right, roll crop. There we go. The hubs. And we don't need panoramic. I want fenders on it. And we want the... TLS suspension. Turbo mirror, exterior three point, ah, nah. We do need the front hitch though. And we're gonna go with the 7520 IVT. And I think that's everything we want for it for now. I'd like to get GPS for it right away, but that's just not gonna be feasible for us this year. And I can't remember. I hope we we should have just enough to be able to afford the crop sensor. We do not. It's twenty four thousand. Ooh. So what we'll do? I think we'll we'll load up another set of planks. But before we do that, we're gonna go get started planting. And right now, the Oliver is sitting at the sawmill yet. And it's gonna sit there, sit there for this episode, just cause we'll be loading a, f we're gonna f load a few more loads, things of planks on, just so we can get our crop sensor. That way we can at least know we're applying the right amount of nitrogen to our crops, cause our corn's already starting to grow, and our oats is looking pretty good already. Looking really good actually, and I know. I said this year we're going to try our best to get the dairy up, but I don't know if that's going to happen or not anymore now. We're kind of in a tough situation. I I made some bad and I made some b poor financial decisions and we're probably going to pay for it this year without being able to put the dairy up right away. We're going to hop into the <coughs> oh, the 4020 here. We're going to use that to finish planning out this season. But I made some I made some poor investments on my part. Like I said, I should we probably should have waited another year before we started thinking about upgrading our tractor for all the more precision stuff. I think we could have gotten by a year without get some of the more precise equipment for it. But it's it's kind of one of those it is what it is type things and we're, it's too late now and we're already committed to the cause, so. But we're gonna, we're gonna get this field started outlined here. At least. And we're gonna, once we get it outlined, we'll hop back into the truck. And we'll head over to the sawmill. And get the, get another set of planks loaded so that way we have enough cash to Oh, to make sure that, oh geez. Never realized how much power this hail always takes until we start going around it with the equipment. But we're gonna, back to what I was saying, we're gonna load up another load of planks. I don't think they were sitting too bad a price. I think they were sitting around 2200 for every thousand liters. Granted, it's not the best pricing right now. 
Actually, that's one thing I should check. I think beans are getting to the point where we need to start thinking about selling them, too. We'll look at both that stuff here in a second. So let's see here. Uh, planks are actually pretty close to what they you want them to sell them at. And the beans. Uh, we still got a little bit. We can wait a little while yet on the beans, so... But we, it'll be, it'll be pushing it close to whether or not if we build put up the dairy this year. I should, big thing is I, I there's a, oh, a storage mod that I want for the dairy. And that might be the thing we might be lacking of. But we, I think next month we'll be, oh, we'll be ready to start chopping too with the grass, grass in the silage, so. And we'll be able to get some more money that way as well. So we got we got a few money making options. We still got our beans to sell. Thirty three thousand. So that'll bring us a good chunk right there. And then we'll have whatever si power we generate from the silage we make, and be able to sell that as well. Because the biggest. Because I think we would want to have the dairy up by no later than August. I think August is the last month we could probably put it up and be able to get all our silage chopped. And then we'd be able to have one more hay cutting for the season. And I, I would I would really like to upgrade our baler to, some, to something a little bit bigger. So that way we don't have as many bales to tote around. Yeah, I think that's actually what we'll plan on doing. I'm going to go back around and fix that one spot I accidentally missed on the hillside there, too. But we probably won't get... We probably won't be able to get as much equipment invested as I was hoping this year again. Just with all the little things, with my one poor inv investment idea I had over winter, and all the other little things will be having to get here as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I think that will be the plan going forward. Um, once we get the, the 7520 back here, we got some weed control to do. And I, we're going to have a whole lot of... I think we'll be able to push it into next month to apply nitrogen as well. Crop will be a little bit tall, but I think we should be able to do it. So if we don't get our nitrogen applied to it th today, we'll at least for sure plan on for it, plan for it next month. But that's kind of the plan moving forward today with today's episode. We're gonna so one more load of planks, and then we're gonna bring the 7520, hook that up to the sprayer, get the weed control all taken care of, and we're gonna get our beans all drilled in. Or not drilled in, but planted. And we're gonna... And that'll be the plan. And then I think next month, if we have any leftover... Leftover fields we have to do for... Oh. That we have to do for... Nitrogen, we'll do that. And then we get... I think we should be able to... Bail... Or cut our grass and turn it into silage next month. And start making NK we'll be able to get a little bit extra income that way as well. So we'll we'll start the time lapse here and we'll see you guys in a bit. Promises 
same If I close my eyes Maybe I'll see you again Across to the other side I turn my promises in the light Stuck on the ocean now, nothing but waves in this filling in. I want to dry up, but to just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. All my reasoning have disappeared. I want to bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home, our home, our home. We don't have to drift inside this dome. I will not let us fade away It's not a price I want to pay And it's not too late No, we lost our purpose Chasing all that surplus You were all that I need I feel that we can break free We can still go back there To a place with no cares We can turn this ship around We can turn this ship around All the way back home Didn't have much, but nevertheless, we were true to each other. But now we don't even bother. I remember you being hopeful, but the tall waves have worn us down. And slowly we are drowning. That's why you need to come with me, with me, with me. Turn around 180 degrees and cross the sea. I will not let us fade away It's not a price I want to pay And it's not too late No, we lost our purpose Chasing all that surf
All right, everyone, we're getting to the point where we're going to start wrapping this episode up. It's kind of a longer recording session today, but I wanted to hammer out all our our spraying, spraying that we need to get done today and get all our nitrogen applied. And, you know, this tractor, even though it, I'm still, like I said, I'm still regretting selling the 5288. This tractor is really nice, and I'm glad, I'm glad we got our, got our little, oh, uh, crop sensor on there but I did realize part way through the day that it needs to be sunny out not cloudy to get the full effect of it at least that's what I remember from reading back so we we aren't getting the full benefit of it right now but I really after I, I was part way through the first field and I was like I really don't want to go back and push this off for another day I want to get I want to get this stuff done today so that way because I'm pretty sure next month we're gonna be, we're gonna be busy enough with all the grass we'll be cutting and raking up and such, for chopping. So we'll have we'll have more than enough work work for us to do next month. That I didn't. I just wanted to get this all hammered out today, and that and that way it's done and over with. And plus, we don't know what next month is gonna be like for weather. Really, it could be it could be still cloudy yet, and we could still not get the full benefit and we could be running behind with everything so we're gonna get this stuff taken back but we got everything I think we got everything sprayed I don't think our beans will have any weeds in it because we hit we plow we ended up plowing it last month this last season so but I don't know it'll be interesting to see because we did call over it with a cultivator and I don't know if that resets that whole scenario 
this brought home as well. And I think there, I can get all the seed that's on the truck into this planter for next year. So, and I also, as you probably already noticed, I also overdid it with fertilizer. I thought we were going to go a lot through a lot more fertil liquid fertilizer than we did, but we ended up bar barely going through half a tank. So now we got enough. We got enough fertilizer, liquid fertilizer for a while, especially when you sit there and think that next season we'll be bread and digest date again, and then we'll have our own, we'll have our own uh, manure to throw on the fields as well. Oh, shoot. can I? I think I should be able to. Yep, we can. I didn't know if I accidentally start killing off the corn, driving over it like I was. But we'll get this taken home. We got. We got quite a bit of stuff to clean up and put away yet. I don't know if we'll get it done tonight. It's already getting pretty late, so it might be something we'll have to do in the f later on in the months. And one thing I f haven't checked in a while too is I haven't checked to see how full the sawmill is. That's one thing I need to do quick here before we get too far too carried away. But we got plenty of equipment to clean up. We got and put away to storage. We just don't have enough time to really log right now. We, like before, we had plenty. When we didn't have as much fields, we had plenty of time to go log once in a while every few months. But we just don't have the time anymore. And it looks like uh, we got our hillside repopulated. I was just kind of admiring all the trees here. We got the hillside fully repopulated, and it's looking really nice. But next month, like I said, I think we'll be we'll be cutting our main two grass fields for sure. I don't know if we'll cut any extra, and we'll be doing si more than likely doing silage next month. So we'll we'll have our ha hands busy again. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can stay up to date to the latest series. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day, and most of all, thanks for watching. <laughs>